Awesome, how to pick the best Mac for college, home office, photo editing or video editing. Thanks for tuning in guys. I'm gonna show to you the Apple Mac mini with the Intel CPU. This generation is still produced. It started in 2018, uh, but this is still a current version. The one that I have here is from early 2020. So for some people, it might still be interested to get the Intel CPU version. But obviously, as you can see here in the sidecard, Apple just recently uh, in late uh, end 2020 released the Apple Silicon, the so-called M1 chip, for which you can also find a review on my channel coming up. And guys, after watching this review, you will know what can you actually use these Mac minis for? Are they budget worthy friendly machines? What tasks can you best run on them? And for this, I have prepared a bunch of tests. So we're gonna measure the power draw, how energy efficient is it? We're gonna test the SSD speed. How fast is the internal SSD? We're also gonna look uh, exactly at the CPU, run some benchmarks there and keep an eye on the GPU, the graphics performance in these uh, budget Mac minis. By the end of the video, you will know what to use this for and what task this is best for. Awesome for tuning in, let's get rolling. Very nice guys. And if you're interested in Mac content in general, obviously you can also subscribe to my channel right now. I have a lot of other content on my channel page. There's a dedicated playlist only for computer stuff where you can learn about all sorts of Mac devices. So obviously in the package, you only have the Mac mini itself and a power cord. So when you buy this uh, on the Apple webpage, or if you purchase one used on eBay in case, make sure to always get the magic uh, keyboard. And I would also recommend to use a trackpad. I had a mouse before, a magic mouse, but I found the trackpads to be much, much more efficient, especially video editing. Uh, takes a few days to get used to, but don't forget that. Let's just look at the units specs. Excellent, we jump to the test part and right now we're gonna test four different things. We're gonna look at the CPU benchmark, uh, graphics uh, benchmark. We're gonna look at the read and write speeds of the internal NVMe, as well as uh, quickly video editing and especially the export performance as compared to other systems. And uh, for example, I also will test it against uh, Apple Mac Mini M1, the newer version, which you can see up here in the sidecard. And quickly opening up a Geekbench 5, you can see it's the base model Mac Mini Core i3, but I'm gonna test. And uh, yeah, a little bit of a bottleneck. I am always suspecting these Intel uh, onboard graphics cards. Um, they usually don't tend to be the strongest. So let me quickly run those benchmarks and I will, as always, upload them all to my profile and then you can see them on my Geekbench page, which I also link in the description below. So this is the single core and the multi-core score and I prepared this handy overview graphics. Uh, that's a little bit nicer to see everything in one spot right here. Those are the rough results from my different tests that I run and the single core performance on the Mac Pro was slightly below the Intel Mac Mini, which I think is okay, but the, op the total winner was obviously the Mac Mini M1 with the Apple Silicon that had at least one benchmark wise, a significant advantage. Of course, the Mac Pro, I upgraded it. Although it's a 2009 machine, I put the latest CPU or the max CPU that I could in there, which I picked up on eBay with a, is a six core Xeon. So that's why, no surprise, the multi-core score is still pretty okay. But again, when it comes to the Apple M1 Silicon, I'm really curious because the Apple M1 Silicon always has like these really good test scores, but how will it actually perform in just a second when we also do the graphics benchmark? So let's check this out as well, where I can tell you right now from the tests that I run, the graphics performance 4527 is not very high because again, my prepared comparison graphic shows you the Apple Mac mini Intel version with the uh, UHD 630 graphics, um, at least the test score wise, very low performance, not even close to my old Mac Pro with a Radeon RX 580. You see that's almost 10 times as fast. So that's why I say, okay, I have still this old workstation 
and the CPU is kind of performance wise somewhat comparable to the Intel Mac Mini, but the graphics, at least benchmark wise, should be absolutely superior, even superior to the new Apple M1 Silicon. And I tested both Metal and OpenGL, which is kind of close. The third important thing, the third important thing I wanted to test is obviously the performance of the built-in NVMe drive. How fast can it write? How fast can it read? And is that actually sufficient? So let's quickly run the test. And those are the approximate values. As you can clearly see, the read performance is superior to the write performance. But in my opinion, those are good values. As you can see, it checks all the check marks. And also keep in mind, if I rerun the test again, uh, also, I'm recording in the background. I'm doing some other tasks. So sometimes this can be a slight variation in a test. But overall, again, comparing it to my graphics graphic that I test uh, prepared previously, you see those are the rough uh, numbers. And if you run a test like that on your system, it should be somewhat similar. And uh, yeah, the Mac Pro, obviously, you see you can also put an NVMe drive in the Mac Pro. That's what I did. And it gives you pretty reasonable speeds as well. You just use a PCIe adapter card and your Mac Pro can run an NVMe as well. Yes, the Mac Mini is faster, especially in the read section. And as you have seen, I just tested it ago. Even the write was a little bit faster than you see in the graphics here. But again, the Apple Mac Mini is the winner. It has the highest score. So that uh, goes to show you that CPU wise, GPU wise and NVMe drive wise, the Apple Mac mini is a very strong contender, uh, not just for video editing, but, but as an everyday uh, machine that you can really greatly work on. I think these Mac minis are in principle really cool if you are aware of their strengths and limitations. So this Intel Mac mini, however, I did some, I, I did some video editing. Like I told you, uh, even if the NVMe speed on these external drives is lower, let's say around 500 read and write, um, that's still sufficient to do the video editing from these projects. And I actually recommend to get an external drive or terabyte, put it in a case, and then you can do your video, video editing on. That's how I have connected my uh, 750 gigabyte library right here. And the playback is smooth, it's good. However, uh, if you use certain plugins like here, I found uh, that's where the limitation comes in from the Intel built in graphics, the 630 graphics. So there it was not fast enough. So if you're just planning to do very simple video projects where you maybe have a video and maybe like a text element, that's cool. But as soon as you start adding multiple layers and you have like these side cards that come fading in, fading out, that will probably tax the Intel Mac Mini a little bit too much. And again, looking at the infographics and also from my testing, those are actually export times. I did again uh, six export tests uh, with the normal H.264 codec as well as with the ProRes codec which has a bigger data size. And each and every time the Apple Mac Mini was the fastest when it comes to exporting um, the Mac Mini Intel. I mean, those times, in my opinion, they are all pretty okay. Terrific. And what have we learned about the Mac Minis, the best Macs that you can choose for your particular purpose? I have shown you that this Mac Mini has a good connection options at the back. You can connect a variety of things such as the more affordable external SSDs. That's pretty cool. Uh, don't forget to also get magic keyboard and mouse because that's not included. And performance wise, we have really looked through a bunch of different things. We tested the GPU, uh, CPU, GPU, the internal storage, as well as the video editing performance. And in my opinion, the conclusion really is these Intel Mac Minis, the previous generation, is very awesome if you want to do like use it for college, for home office, maybe do some email or document editing, write your paper, something like this. That's when they work best. Video editing, I was not completely happy, but there's also a disclaimer here in the side card. You can see different video codecs. That's also something people often tend to overlook based on what codec you use. You can also get different performance out of your system. But as a rule of thumb, 
I think these Mac Mini, that's my personal opinion, are not the best for video editing. Otherwise, which the benchmarks also sh clearly showed, the new Apple M1 Silicon is just far superior uh, performance-wise to these Intel systems and run much, much cooler and have an amazing power to compute ratio, which I think is uh, actually the most exciting when carrying over to the mobile lineup. So if you have these MacBooks, they should be particularly amazing with the Apple M1 chip. And also you can look here at the side card because I've did actually a lot of other Mac videos such as the Mac Pro series where I upgraded my old Mac Pro, which you can also can compare. And if you have a question or a request about Mac related content, let me know in the comments below. I will look at that if you have a video request, maybe I can make a video about it. And yeah, also for tuning in, I see you as a subscriber and in the next video. And because you just watched this video, you might be also interested in looking at some other computers videos on my channel, like this MacBook Pro that I reviewed in depth, for which you can find a review in on my channel page in the computer playlist. And a lot of people have already subscribed because of the videos that I provide for you here. You can subscribe right now as well if you like, but you don't have to, obviously. I see you in the next video. Have fun. Take care.